Hello and welcome to our business journey series. My name is Andy Sharma, business coach. And in this series, we talk to the business owners that have shown great promise, sort of adapted, improved, and continued to grow and expand their organization over the last 12 months. My next guest is Olivia Stroud from Three Ways Displays. Uh, she's cosmetic and fragrance sales director and responsible for strategic growth of the business. Three Ways Displays is a family-run business and they work with major global brands. Olivia, it's really good to have you with us today. So oh, thank you, you for having me, Andy. So before we get started, why don't you give me a bit of background by yourself and what Three Ways Displays does? Yeah, perfect. Um, so like you said, it's a family-run business. My father started it 21 years ago um, and it's also always in uh, the place where we've grown up. And I joined in 2019. Um, I was traveling at the time and he called me when I was in Peru saying, would you like to come and join join the business? Um, so yeah, I joined in January 2019, working within sales. Um, and then I've just grown into becoming the sales director for our cosmetics and fragrance department. Um, we didn't have that department when we started, but I've been able to really build relationships within the our cosmetics clients, and it's just become a whole section of our business. Um, so I run the day-to-day -day of the sales team. Um, and so what we do, we design and fabricate point-of-sale displays. So within stores, um, airports, um, and we ship worldwide as well. So currently shipping to 15 countries. So, yeah, it's good. It's busy. Lucky the shops are now back open. Fantastic, Olivia. That's, that's great. Good to hear. Uh, so who are your ideal customers and who do you serve? So our ideal customers, so cosmetics and fragrance is about 72% of our business. Um, luckily enough, ideal uh, most of my clients, I deal directly with the brands. So I deal with the, their global teams, their visual merchandisers. Um, and we really start from helping them design the product to advising what material they should use to the end concept, to seeing it in store and installing. Okay. All right. So you were part of the small business leadership program with us. Tell us, why did you consider joining the, the, the program? In yeah so I've always been in sales I've been in sales since I was 16 but I've never you know been in charge of a whole business um, and learning and watching my dad grow the business I knew that I wanted to develop my skills and my knowledge um, to put my practical work into theory and to learn you know what goes behind running a business you know it's not just sales it's it's, it's a lot of things I learned from the program. So yeah, I wanted to also build a nice peer group around me so I can lean on others for support, which has been great. Yeah, I believe you have, You had a lot of interaction. I think in the beginning you were a bit mm. but by the end of the program, I, I could see you, you know, sharing and contributing and having a lot of interaction. Yeah, thank you for yeah. you know, bringing your sharing to the table. Yeah, it, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's, I went in, I was reserved just because I, you know, didn't know all the business lingo and I, I I didn't know as much as what the others did. But within the peer group, the my team really took their time out, even outside of the sessions, outside of the peer groups to give me a call, give me an email to see, you know, how I how they would advise that I would do something. So it was really good. It was a real confidence boost. Great, great. Good to hear that. So what were your key takeaways and learning from the program? A lot. Um, <laughs> I, learned, I learned a lot. But I would say just understanding how all elements of the business are linked. I think that was my real key thing that I took away. Um, for example, understanding how strategy and targets enable sales, the finance team, the accounts and production to work towards a shared goal, really, and and how important communication is. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember within the whole you, team. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I remember you mentioning uh, communication as one of your key takeaways during the program as well. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. When you were in the program, and it improved, you know, 
how you um, help you improve how you deal with people and uh, you know your work relationships as well thank you mm-hmm. thank you for sharing that so what have you applied from there which has made difference to the business or to the team that you're handling right now yeah so we finished the course in april so there's there's been things that i you know apply straight away so um most of our work is done within acrylic um mm. and so one of our key topics that we talked about was you know building a sustainable business so that's really what we've really pushed into motion so we've started a sustainability program um we want to we're now doing research to use 100% recycled material for all projects that we do um we have new machinery with low um low emissions as well which is great um well KPIs i only we only really had KPIs for our sales team but learning that you know anyone can have KPIs you know our cleaners our packing department um, and that's really shown within the reduced hours of overtime um because people have targets that they want to that they need to work towards and then our fraction manager he goes around and checks that so the KPIs was a real strong one of of how that could be brought into every element um building a growth strategy i'm working really closely with the two other directors um to see how we're going to build the company um and but i would say the main thing that i really took away from the um the course was confidence i you know i really came back fresh um and i i knew what i wanted from it whereas before i didn't really i was in sales i was just setting myself targets just seeing what money i can bring in and i didn't feel like i had confidence to talk to people who have you know the 20 years experience working within this business but it's really given me a confidence boost that to know that i can do it and i can run this company as a as a fem- female owner right and so so what contributed towards that confidence boost was there something in with the peer group or the other people or knowing people on on the similar journey as you are what triggered yeah. that i yeah i'm tr- i'm trying to pinpoint it i just i i, f- I felt like i knew more information than i did um so i thought you know i i don't know this i don't know how to you know look at cash flow or I don't know if I, you know, can have those tough discussions with staff when something's might have gone wrong. Um whereas you broke it down of how we how we handle those conversations, how I can, you know, plan out my day um and set targets for, you know, one week for every month, you know, for the next 3 to 5 years. So and and I think it was the confidence from from the peer group as well. They really they boosted me up um hugely as well to to show that i i can do it but yeah my my whole i feel like my whole attitude changed towards the business when i when i came back there were so many elements that i wanted to do um and wanted to change and it just really gave me a a fire of how i want my business to look now right fantastic coming back to your business tell us what makes you unique what what helps you differentiate from your competitors i think because we're a family run company you know right. um my dad still works in the factory i work in sales in the office um my mum works in the accounts and i would say that 25 of the people that that work in the factory have been here since the right beginning so it's the passion and care people have and you you can you can see that you know no one wants to rush a job and just get it out they they really put their quality and their heart into everything so and i think that that reflects back on us as well we we try and push them because you know internal progression for the staff is a big thing for us we really want to um build within our team that we already have um so we've made changes over the last year so we've um got a new factory manager our print room manager now um our machine manager they've all been you know through courses and are now running the team which has been great 
Um, and then go back quality control as well. Like, you know, I um, I do call myself the QC queen. I love quality control. Go over and I check every little little bit before it goes out. So, yeah, I think it's it's really the passion and care that we put into into working and to, from the start of the project to the end. Yeah, and I think I think that shows in your customer relationship or your client mm. retention, like you mentioned. Anyway. But I think, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that's really great. So, yeah, we've definitely been able to build relationships. Um, one of our um, biggest clients now in 2019, we were bringing in, you know, 2% of the business, whereas now they're bringing in 67%. So it's wow. really building the relationships and having trust. And, you know, um, of course, we, we want to say yes to every job, but, you know, we do say we would advise this or I think you should change your your, your design because it will make this cheaper or it will be long longer long wearing so we're and, and we're honest as well and there's no point we won't just take jobs on that we know we won't be able to do to our you know top standards okay right and um, so where do you see the business in three to five years and more importantly where do you see yourself as a leader you know, in three to five years. Oh, <laughs> I see us as a a well established leading manufacturing company within the industry. I really want to push for that. You know, increase profits, increase increase sales. Um, and where do I want to see myself leading by example? Pushing myself, pushing the team. Yeah. It's a Very tough good. one. I, 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 I've been trying to set my uh, my goals for three to five years. So I've got my one year, one year goals. And I think there's so much that I want to do. You know, we've got the cosmetics. I want to open up a, a wedding section for us. Um, we want to get some new machines. There's... Wow. There's so much. It's just having that. I need to write it all onto a whiteboard so I can vision it every day. Um, but I want I want to see us, you know, really comfortable within within our factory and with our cash flow and making a a bigger name and mark for ourselves within the industry. Right. Okay. Good to, good to hear, you know, the plans which are in the pipeline and, you know, the, the path that you're laying down for mm-hmm. the business and for yourself, right? Uh, is there anything you would like to share with the audience in terms of exciting news or offer or event um, or anything that, you know, matters to them? Yeah, we don't have any events or any news coming up. We're building our team at the moment. So... Um, I'm building my cosmetics team, um, but not yet. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe soon, but not yet. Okay. All right. And last question. Tell me what inspires you? What gets you out of the bed? You know, uh, what motivates you? How do you stay, you know, firing on all cylinders day after day? What I think what really pushes me out of bed is showing up for my team. Um, they work so hard here. Um, you know, we've changed shift work so we can get more hours within the day and everyone were just great about that. You know, we had just a core team working through the pandemic um, and they just work so hard. Um, so they get me up during the day. And I, I would say also, for me, you know, I'm, a lot of my clients are female leaders. Um, mm-hmm. So every female entrepreneur um, really pushes me and, you know, to see how they've grown their businesses. Um, so they really, all my, all, the, all my female leaders in my family as well, they really motivate me to, to be the best that I can be, especially in a, in a male industry. That's, that's really what I'm. I'm pushing myself for. Very good, fantastic. Thank you, thank you very much for your time today, Olivia. Uh, really, you know, good to have conversation with you. 
and wish you all the best for next few years to come, both for the business and for yourself. I'm sure, you know, uh, the way you're going about it and the energy, kind of energy that you bring to the table, you know, this, there'll be many more milestones that you'll be achieving very soon. Best wishes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Andy. And thank you. Um, the, the course was brilliant and you've been amazing reaching out after the course. Um, it, it's been a, a great feeling to have that support because it's, it's tough uh, speaking with um, people within the business or within the industry. So to have that outside perspective, it's, it's really, been, really been great. Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you.